declutter. What? Urine samples? What? Are you single? What? Uh-oh. Cover your... Look good on your finger. Did he just ask me to marry him? What? Uh-oh. Cover your... Please help my dad. He's a lost cause. from a cluttered home. We pull it all out, sell it at a yard sale, and then match the proceeds up to $1,000. Now, they don't get to keep that money. We use it for the renovating and decorating. The cleaning, painting, and the organizing is all on us. How do I do all that I do? You know it's not by myself. There's Trish Sir. She's my yard sale diva. My handsome go-to guy is Matt Ivey. And the designer with all the magic, baby, it's Mark Brunet. Gary Peterson is a former plumber who's drowning in clutter overflow. This house has been in clutter for years. I moved in with a bunch of clutter and I just keep adding to it. Oh, there it is, I found it. His 18-year-old son, Jeff, a recent high school grad, wants dad to clean up his act. When he sees a sale, he just kind of has to buy it. Not one of them, usually the whole lot. I see a bunch of cans of paint, and they're three bucks. I got to have them. And then he'll point out that there's already six cans of paint in the garage, and I already have that color. It's always been an issue ever since I was a kid, like, just things of his just stacked everywhere. You have to walk around this and, like, don't step on that. Jesus. It's very hard. Hey, Joe, you yeah. get the pipe wrench. He'll actually get angry in a way if you confront him about it. I don't see anything. Oh, come on, man. It's in there. How would you know if it was in there? Fine. Be that way, man. More importantly, the clutter has clogged his profession. My plumbing career came to a halt because of this clutter. When I open the garage up and I can't get to the stuff, that's my excuse not to do the work. Dad, there's a guy on the phone who needs a plumbing job. Are you interested? For clutter to end a career? I know where all the tools are. Y'all know it's got to be rooted in a disaster. The divorce was very devastating. A sudden divorce that's emotionally blocked Gary from dealing with the backup of clutter. There's a lot of memories in this house from my marriage. That's me. That's me hanging on all this stuff in the past. Besides clinging to the past, Gary's piled on even more stuff from his online business. I started buying office supplies at clearance and reselling them online. And when you look around, I've got 10 boxes of envelopes, paper that I'm probably going to never use in a lifetime. But I might use it one of these days. <laughs> It's no wonder Gary's love life is also in the toilet. Do you really think any girl's gonna step foot in this room? Oh, my dating life is almost at a complete halt because I'm embarrassed. How many years has it been? My last date was probably about two and a half years ago. <laughs> As for how Jeff deals with the disaster? Dad, why are you putting stuff all over the couch? When I bring people over, I kind of just kind of go to my room quicker. How am I supposed to have anybody over like this? Who are you having over? What's Who all? can I have over like this? Well, I'm sorry, I'm working on it, okay? I've tried to help. He even said to me a few times, Dad, I'd help you clean up, but I don't know where stuff goes. We both don't know where to start. And it's caused plenty of tension. I just tripped over this and I can't even get to the computer. Just move the box all the way. This is ridiculous, man. Clean house, we need you because I'm sick of living like this in the clutter, in the mess, being embarrassed. Yeah, I'm but sick of living here. We need help. We need to get out of this, this rut. We need to be put back on track. Hi, Nisi. Hey, Nisi. Hey. Hello. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> We're on a very busy street, as you obviously can hear. You were hard to miss, let me just say. You're well, stopping traffic, girl. <laughs> well, I heard that the clutter on the other side of this door is hard to miss. What? Yeah, the clutter is hard to miss. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Gary lives here with his son, Jeffrey, and they got a lot going on. Okay. Let's get to getting people. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, oh, Gary. Four angels, yes, ma'am. Four, four angels. Yes. Well, it's oh, no. my son, Jeff. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Heard you got some clutter in there, Mr. Charming. Yes, ma'am. Come on in. Why you called y'all angels? What? Oh, my God. 
Wow! <laughs> Welcome to my clutter. <laughs> <laughs> what? Two words. Hot mess. Gary? Yes, ma'am. What the hell? <laughs> it's very embarrassing for the experts to see my mess around this house. This is my uh, my my living room. Was my living room. Mm. What is it now? Um, clutter. Wow, men really are slobs. Whose is it? Uh, I believe it would be me. <laughs> you have nothing in here that belongs to you? Nothing that I could spot, no. So, Gary, you're the one using it as a tool shed? Uh, yeah, kind of. Tools and what's all this? That's like, uh, lighting I was going to put up. You're giving go-to guys everywhere a bad name. We've got a couch with a blanket on it right in front of a fireplace. Yeah! That's my <laughs> focal point back there. Oh, yo. First thing you see. I guess I'm just feeling like a lot of manliness in here. Yeah. I'm like, somehow it's lost a woman's touch. Yeah, quite a few years ago, about six years ago. Yeah. I've gotten divorced, and I, I, I catch myself now realizing I'm hanging on to stuff to try to hang on to the past. So there are things here from your previous relationship. Yes. Just decorations, uh, little figurines, and, and books, and tapes, and. Okay. The past is around this house, and it's. It's not fair to my son anymore, and myself. Was the clutter here when you were still married? Yeah, it just was hidden. She was good at hiding stuff. <laughs> you got divorced six years ago, and the clutter said, let us out! Yes. yes. <laughs> and I can't help but notice you have an odd amount of random office supplies, Gary. I mean, they're everywhere. What's the story? Well, I, after my divorce, I had, I had needed to make money, so I went around and bought clearance items and was selling them online, and would get like 10 of them, sell five and keep five, and, and they just started multiplying. Is that what you do for a living? I'm a plumber by trade. Plumber by trade? Yes, ma'am. I hope Gary runs his plumbing business a lot better than he runs his house, because this house needs to be snaked immediately. And not an active plumber at that. That would explain this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Oh. We can fix just about anything but broken hearts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you, Jeffrey. How do you feel about him? The uh, things he's been going through emotionally that have led to this. I just want to see him happy once again. I want it to be clean for my dad so we can get along. And what are you hoping to have happen at the end of all this? Just have a clean place and be able to be free of all this stuff, being free of my past. Well, what keeps you two well-bodied gentlemen from cleaning it up? I would say that would be my part. I just kind of got tunnel vision. I just kind of walk through and fall over things. And... My dad has a clutter problem. I don't see any clutter. I just not know where to start, basically. There's so much of it. <laughs> Jeffrey doesn't help really clean up. He just storms out of the house. We get in an argument, and he's gone. Poof. You have parties over here? Have friends over? Never. Have not like ladies this. Ladies over? <laughs> Does anybody have ladies over? Uh, no. The last one that came over and she made fun of my place, I never invited over again. Oh. What about the ones that never called you back? No, not too much. <laughs> oh, snap. No, I don't think you're getting a lot of women in here, unless you're using chloroform. Oh. You gonna get mad at a woman because she told the truth? Yeah. Boy, you might as well get mad at me right now. Oh, I'm Lord. No, I don't want to do that. So is there more to be seen? Yes, a lot more. You ready? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna ask Matt and Trisha if they could go. No, I'm not. I want to stay here and talk to you. I feel like we're being flushed down the toilet. No longer speak. I know we're in the living room, but I am seeing the office, the sofa, and just a lot of other stuff. So how would this room function? I'd like to be a living room where I can invite people, especially my son. Okay, so you want to hang out with your friends. Obviously, you want to continue watching television. What about the desk over there? You want to keep an office space in here? No. What's with the blue? Well, it happens to be one of my favorite colors. Okay. How about you? Do you love blue? I like blue, but I'm more into other colors. Like? Purple, in a way. Like a manly purple. A manly purple. Velvet kind of, yeah. He, he, did he say manly purple yeah. and velvet in the same sentence? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. And are you good with that? Uh, not really the purple. <laughs> not really no, the purple. No, no, no. I like blue. We follow the two of you, you to the next page. Yes, ma'am. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. oh the gym. I'm just getting to work out in Jeffrey's room here. <laughs> this Jeffrey is your room? Is room? No, this is my room. What? What? Yes. This is my room. Oh, no. yes. It looks like an aquarium. <laughs> yeah, half aquarium. 
Oh. And you didn't even finish this raggedy paint job. I'm working on it. I happen to like the two-tone blue walls. And now that he mentions his aquarium, it kind of looks like an aquarium. I think I was trying to cover up the past, and I never finished it. Please help my dad. He's a lost cause. <laughs> Gary, was this the bedroom you had when you were married? Yes. What did it look like then? Yeah, it looked more sexy. Did it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Start bringing sexy back. Oh! <laughs> bringing sexy back? Oh. You talked to the right guy. Well, I don't think this color on the wall is screaming sexy. No, I don't think so. And ugh, look at that rug. What are you What's wrong with it? What's right with that? <laughs> okay, please tell me that all of these watches are not part of your clearance trading. No, I've got my watches, my wedding band. Wedding band? You weren't trading jewelry? That wasn't part of your business? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what you still doing with that wedding band sitting over there, doctor? Hold on to the past. Hey, Gollum, let go of the ring. Wow. And, and all the furniture in here is from your marriage? Well, the dresser back there is from my marriage. And this end table? Yes. My bedroom holds quite a bit of memories. What's in all these containers? Um, stuff. I don't really know what's in the bands, but there's stuff in there. Gary needs to divorce himself from the clutter and his ex-wife. Can you take us to see the rest of what you're working with? You bet. It can't get worse than this. Oh, my God, Trish. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whoa. Uh -huh. uh, it did just get worse. Welcome to the garage. Is that what you're calling it, Gary? Yeah, kind of. There's the plumbing and the uh, gardening and uh, all the washer and dryer. And... and then there's like a body shop slash car parts. Oh, yeah, it's all Jeffrey's stuff. Oh. Did you just say Jeffrey's stuff? Oh, yeah, all these car parts. Yeah. Hundreds of them. Oh! Yeah, I have car parts, so what? It's a garage. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh-oh. Just fixing in my car, I kind of have the same issue, not throwing it away and just kind of saving it just in case maybe I need it. Oh, it. Oh, so daddy's so. rubbed off, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many cars you got? Hell, One. No, you had 13. You had 13 cars? Yeah. Just it's my hobby, fix them up, and I get bored, and I end up selling it mm. and keeping on to the old parts. I'm sorry, Jeffrey, but you should be like my people. When we have car parts, we put them out in the front line on center blocks, and then write free on cardboard. So how do you even run your plumbing business in the middle of all of this? Well, actually, there was another setback. I had some health problems last year, and... and um... So you put the plumbing business on hold because of the health issues? Well, that was part of it. What was the other part? Clutter. Do you want to retire that, or do you want to keep the party going? I like to keep the party going. My goal is to be back in the plumbing business, which is my passion. Because you couldn't find your tools, you didn't plumb anymore? Yeah, yeah. Time out. You stopped your passion, your love of plumbing, because of clutter? Really? The plumber that got clogged? Close your eyes. You're looking at everything you want your garage to be. What's in it? My tools organized. Okay. I do see a desk and a little computer. I want a clean garage, a functional garage. How about the gym that's currently in your bedroom? That would be great. Yeah. So you got to have plumbing tools, car parts, the laundry room, a desk slash workspace, and the gym equipment all up in here? Yeah. Boom. I think once I get my plumbing career back and a lady, the world better watch out. What I would like to pick is a place to talk to the two of you. Definitely oh, not in here. Not in here. Gary definitely knows what his issues are. Now it's just time for him to do something about it. All right, Gary. Talk to me a little bit about your journey and all that you've gone through since the divorce. About six years ago, we were on a camping trip. It was Father's Day weekend. I had come home, and the house was cleaned out. And it was pretty devastating. It was pretty devastating. You didn't see it coming? Well, I think I did, because I'm part of that mix somewhere. Definitely. Hey, yeah. own it. That's what I'm talking about, OK? Um, things have gotten better, but not as best as they should be. What has your relationship been like since the divorce with your dad? He's been a lot angrier. I'm not angry at the situation. I'm angry at the way I'm living. How does that affect the way the two of you get along? We usually argue a lot over little things, small things. And when he gets upset over something, like, he'll take it out on whoever's closest. And usually that's me. I'm walking around with tunnel vision. Meanwhile, I'm affecting everybody in my life, the ones I love the most. I'm hurting Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. you know, he needs their, their some better life. You know? And it, it's not a good thing to teach anybody. No. You know, 
good you got that one right. Up next, after the tears, Gary flirts with danger. Are you ready to create a life for your son and your new wife? Are you single? Oh, oh hey, oh, <laughs> uh -huh. well. <laughs> I'm hurting Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. oh, he needs there's, there's a better life. What are your hopes for him? My hopes to see him succeed. What are your hopes for your father? To see him be happy, see him start his business again, start making money. What does moving forward look like to you? Getting the courage and, and, and the ability to get rid of what's bother me and that's probably everything in this house whatever was in my marriage I, I, now they're talking to you I see one foot in yesterday and one in today and I need to get the foot out of yesterday are you really ready because now is where the rubber meets the road I believe I am I believe I am ready to deal with the past yes seeing my dad get real emotional made me realize that he does want to clean it up that he does want to change I'm scared but I, I got help are you ready to create a life for your son and your new wife? Yes. 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 Are you single? No, I'm oh, hey. Whoa. <laughs> well, get it together and I might put it in an application. There you go. She is one sexy mama. Guess when this process is going to start after you finish flirting? Right now? Oh. Thank you, Nisi. This is definitely a new beginning for me and him. I think one of the biggest things that came up with my talk with Nisi was to get rid of the wreckage of my past, which would be my divorce. Now that Gary's ready to let go of the past, let's see if he can let go of the stuff. Gary. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hey, uh, you surprised me there. Uh, <clears throat> no, I don't even go there. What? Because I love that piece. I'm not, who said I was going to talk to you about you that? You looked right at it. Oh, OK, you caught me red-handed. What's up with the cabinet of chaos? The curio cabinet I've had for probably about 30 years. There's a lot, a lot of memories, a lot of little trinkets in there. And What you're saying is each one represents a memory. Maybe not everyone. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I want you to do me a favor. Look at me. I want you to tell me what's that important that's in that cabinet. Just everything. Okay, be specific. Oh, you, 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 you. Oh, yeah, what? I mean, if it's that important to you, clearly you know what's in the well, cabinet. I take a look out to, to strike the memory. Ah, oh, he doesn't even know what's in there. How important can it be? Jeffrey! Jeffrey! Hey, what's up, man? Hey! How you doing? So the innocent one isn't so innocent. In the living room, you say, hey, this isn't your mess. We come out here, you admit to all these car parts. Yeah. How active are you at rebuilding cars right now? Uh, not so much right now. Not uh -huh. so much funds. Name one. Give me one idea. Come on, think. Oh, oh, Jeffrey's first Christmas. Okay, so he remembered his son's Christmas ornament. Anything else? Uh, old bottles in there. You mean, like, urine samples? Well, I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know what it is, I don't know what it is. It looks like it's growing. Uh, look, you guys clearly have a lot of stuff in this house. Right. And we need to get rid of it to open up room. So not only can your dad, but you can have a place where you can function. So I'm asking, can we put these out in the yard sale? I don't know. Not. I want to hold on to some of them, most of them. You're not even sure what's in there. But you're hanging on to something just for some reason. True. What's the reason? Why are you hanging on? I don't on? know, Mark. I don't know. I guess to remember stuff that I, there's nothing I can really do about it. Where, what's the source of your memory? I don't know. I, I'm starting to realize hanging on to stuff is just kind of killing me around here. Yeah. True. It's time to close the book. How much of it is absolutely essential to keep your car running? None of them really are. I mean, most of them are parts that I took off and hope to sell them to make money. We can put them in the yard sale. Instead of having money, maybe in the future sometime, we'll have it now for your house, for your dad, for you. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet, though. How come? Because some of them I may need. That's the thing. This is really hard. I don't know if I can give these up. I'm all for keeping the ornament. That makes sense. But the rest doesn't make sense when you don't even know what's in there. Yeah. I think, it, 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 let's do it. Let's sell it. Why change my mind? Ah! Your dad called us. Your dad clearly needs help. You obviously care about him. This is how you can help him. I do want to help him. That's awesome, and I think you're also going to help yourself. Uh, 
idea. Yeah? Alright. 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 Matt, these parts better sell at the yards where I'm coming after you. Gary is ready to turn over a new leaf. Right. That's what I just heard. I'm ready. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. There's a lot of emotion still tied to that piece, but I think it's time to let it go and move on. Gary! Gary! Yes. One thing that struck me was when you said you were still holding on to your wedding band. Yes. It has memories. I have ties to it. Uh, let go of the ring, let go of the past. Well, you talked about moving on, right? Right. About finding other women. You, all the stuff that's hanging around might, might scare them away. I would imagine having this still in the bedroom might scare them away. Maybe, possibly. We want to help you let go of things that are kind of keeping you back. To that end, I want to talk to you about letting go of this wedding band. No. Come on, Matt. Don't ask me to give up my wedding ring. Up next. That's ties to our memories. Gary Steele has stoppage in his purge pipes. I think that is an emotional tie that binds. I'm not giving up that ring. But later, he gets his groove flowing again. Oh, hey. So what are you doing later? For former plumber Gary Peterson, a sudden divorce six years ago. Hey, Joe, give me the... the Pipe range right over there. Was so painful, his career, love life, and relationship with his son, Jeffrey, were spiraling down the drain. I don't see anything, man. Jeffrey, it's down there. Just get it yourself. Fine. I can't find it. God. After a much needed inner cleansing, this is no way for anybody to live. Gary started to see the light. What does moving forward look like to you? To get rid of what's bother me and that's probably everything in this house so far he let a curio cabinet go and all but one of the cherished items inside jeffrey's first ornament means a lot to me and thank you mark for letting me keep it and jeff let go of his old car parts matt these parts better sell at the yards where i'm coming after you as for gary giving up his old wedding ring so he can move on with life he's all stopped up why no has ties to it, memories. Well, getting rid of this doesn't mean getting rid of the memories. But to me, this seems like a pretty big symbolic one. I'm not giving up that ring. Hey, party people. Hey, Nisi. What are we in here doing? Well, I was just talking to Gary about Hi. letting go of the past <laughs> by letting go of this. Ooh, let me see. Look good on your finger. <laughs> You're moving on. Yeah. Well, look at this. Look at the size. Well, can we now? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he just ask me to marry him? <laughs> Come on, Nisi. Say yes. Hell no. I would love to give to you a new bed in this space that really says, this is my space, I own it, and it looks like you're ready to move forward in it in exchange for that. Because I think that is an emotional tie that binds. Are you sure? Yeah, I need to move forward. It's going to be hard, but it'll work. You did a good thing. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Ready to move forward, Gary releases the furniture left from his marriage. Letting the past be the past means letting the dresser and the mirror go out to the yard sale. OK. Yeah? Yeah. I need to move on and see the new Gary. And packs up the piles of office supplies left from his online business. Oh, there's probably staplers in there and office products, cassette tapes from 20 years ago. Yes, Gary's finally digging out from his past. It feels really good to put all this stuff in the yard sale. Yeah, I want to keep these. And with the help of his son... No, 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 this one goes in here. Oh, no. Resurrecting his dream career. I found my tools. Y'all tell Diva? Hi, Mr. I know you are challenged. Yes! By a teeny tiny yard? Yes! By standing on a corner where there's so much noise going on. Yes. But I also know you have a solution. Well, I found a little parking lot right down the road. Still a lot of traffic, but not all the noise. I got it. With late afternoon upon us, there's just enough daylight to get everything trucked over to the yard sale location. Morning finds Trish finishing up pricing the goods just in time for... Everything must go! The yard sale is open! All right, here we go.
we are. It's Yard Sale Day. Now, we pried everything we could away from Gary and Jeffrey. Trish has it out here, and it's priced to sell. I'm going to take my flower, my gorgeousness, and I'm going in. Mm. Right away, there's an explosion of activity in the jewelry and watch department. What are you interested in, ma'am? That first one we're all this. And a blast of sales and office supply. We have all of this and the bag. Figurines are a booming business, too. We do seven for everything total. Five. Could you feel six? Okay. I love you. But the old furniture and car parts are still just gathering dust. Apparently, not a lot of handy people up here. Ladies, yes. what were you thinking in terms of price? For everything, uh, 10. Ma'am, do you really need a cannon in your life? <laughs> You're going to shoot it at your husband? It's coral shell design. Oh, yes. I've been selling jewelry for a long time. I hang out with Nisi and Trish, so of course I'm familiar with jewelry. It's all they talk about. I was thinking maybe for everything, 20. Um, how about... 12. Are you comfortable with that $10 price? Sure. It's for a good cause. It is for a good cause. 60 for both. Are you looking for me to put the ring on your hand, ma'am? You can come out and ask that if you like. <laughs> How about 18? How about the final offer, 15? Take a deal. We'll take it. I could live with 15, I Gary. I think can I could, you? too. All right. Give it a good All haul, right. right. Right now, one time, here it is. Take it or leave it. $55 both rings. What do you say? What do you say? I say yes to 55. Yes! You got it? You pay up front. But we've got a long way to go. Better check in with my people. People? People. What's up? I want to talk about the money. <laughs> I just thought if I said it like that, it would. It's going to sound better. Okay, well, the deal is we have three rooms. And well, in one of those rooms, I give to the bed. Right. Because I'm really trying to help Gary bring sexy back as long as I'm not a part of it. Well, oh. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> <laughs> $3,000. Do you what? know how much sexy costs? Do you well, have any, any when you, idea? When you put it like that, yeah, I do. I'm gonna make the man this money. Come okay. On, get it. Do yeah. it. <laughs> sexy is real expensive. I don't know. I also know that at the midday mark... Are you getting some paper, babe? And this. Gary's office supplies and small furniture items are generating heat. It's 10 bucks. Awesome. This is a $1,200 ring. We're letting it go for the unbelievably low price of $350. Are you interested? Unfortunately, nobody wants to pay top dollar for Gary's old wedding ring. Oh, no? No. Seriously, we have to sell it. And there's no takers for Jeff's car parts. You made good on your deal. You brought out the car parts. But have we sold any of them? Not one. But finally, some interest at the curio cabinet. Well, you know we're asking 20 for it. I'll, so I'll take it. You can do 20. Can you do better than 20? 25. 25. You can do 25. Can you I'll do better? Do 30. You'll do 30? Oh. Just got a Beamer a week ago, so I'm trying to get some new lights for my car. OK. Well, we're asking 150, so what can you do? This is the man whose memories I am now auctioning off. Can you do better than 30? 35. 35. Can you uh, do 40? OK, we're at 40. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cutoff point? Yeah. Yeah? Do we actually have someone interested in car parts right now? Uh, I think so. There you go. Pay the cashier on the way out, OK? okay. <sighs> is Gary crying? Is Gary crying somewhere? I'm a little sad to see the Kiro cabinet go. With time running out, Gary and Jeff start taking all offers. I have three dollars. <laughs> three dollars. We double that. That's six dollars. Doesn't have seventy-five dollars. So I said, "How about 60? All I have left on me is the twenty. So. I told what? So you guys should do it. What else are we gonna do? I don't know what else to do. Otherwise, I'd go in the truck this way to go to good home. Hey, I'm good with that. All right, man. Thank you so I'll much. I'll do it for three dollars. Deal. Deal. You got the twenty. I'll take your cash. <laughs> Normally we pay the cashier, but that's what I'll do. You two work out the Thank rest. Thank you. It sucks I just sold the headlights for only $3, but hey, it's going to help my dad. But there's still one last tie to the past that hasn't sold. We're down to three. I spent all my money already. Oh, I no, have, I need some help here. I have it. Uh-oh. The charity truck means time's about up. Let's do a deal, please. 60 Let's bucks. It's somebody who really wants oh, it. Cover your ears. Cover your ears for a second. The reality is we're at the end of the yard. I know. It's up to you. I think 
We should let her have it. Sing with him? Yeah. Thank you. Well, your ears were plugged. Ah, you were down. Uh, Just in the nick of time. Thank, Thank you. Very God much. bless you. Okay, God Thanks bless again. you, too. Thank All you. Because right. the charity truck's here to take away everything that didn't say. Yes, ma'am. Boom, something's in my office. No. I just want to know how you feel seeing your things that were left go on the truck. Um, I feel good. I feel really good about it. I really do. It's, yeah? It's been a good cleansing process. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. All right. We are gathered to find out how much money we made at your yard sale. But we need to know how much money we needed to make. Um, despite Nisi's generous gift, and despite the organization in the garage being on the show, I do still need $3,000. How did we do? Well, we made... <laughs> Gary and Jeffrey, we made... $2,110. Awesome. Oh, wow. $31. So there's some extra in there. Way to let go of the past. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. you did a great job letting go. Thank uh -oh. you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get it out your system. Oh. Now, please take your daddy with you to the hotel. Did you, you do that? Thank you, everybody. Bye. Congratulations. Thank Bye. you. All right, Jeffrey. Yeah, and ten over. Yeah. Let's go. You almost got your groove back. <laughs> You know, I don't, I'm going to give you this back because I don't want to get my groove back. Okay. I mean, well, I do, but, well, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> awesome. Okay, like, what are we going to spend the extra 100 bucks on? Okay, should it be Gary or Jeffrey? Ooh. Well. Good choices. Uh, you want to talk garages, big man? Oh, boy. Straight away, the cleaning, painting, and renovating get underway. Go to guy one, closet zero. Meanwhile, over at the hotel, Gary plunges into getting back into his plumbing groove. Dad, what are you doing over there? Oh, I'm putting up ads for Gary's Plumbing. Gary's Plumbing and Son. Nice. I don't think that fireplace has ever been cleaned. Ever. I know it's going to be really exciting to, to be back in the plumbing field once again and have Jeffrey by my side. How cool is that? How cool is that? I'm not gonna lie, I got my groove on with this closet. And it's no lie how massive the garage redo is. I'm willing to bet Gary cries on the reveal. If he doesn't, something's wrong. Furniture arrives and gets loaded in. Including Gary's groovy new bed. Trish digs into the organizing. Bam! Mark adds a fresh new design spin. Uh, and Matthew pats himself on the back. I totally nailed this garage. Yeah, are you guys finished? Thanks. I kind of wish I didn't give up the curio cabinet, but the more I think about it, 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 it has less ties to me now. I'm proud of my dad. He gave up a lot of things. I'm proud of you, Dad. Thank you, Jeff. You helped, you helped me, too. You really did. I hope my dad can finally meet a special someone. I know with all that clutter out of my house, there's a better chance that I will have a woman come over and visit me and hang out and maybe watch a movie and do some dinner. I'll make sure I leave that night. My goal with the design is to give Gary an opportunity to create new memories. And Gary now has the opportunity to give online dating a try. Dad, this is a dating website. You should put like a nice picture, maybe a suit, on a plumbing outfit and a wrench. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'm a little scared. But a business owner seeking Nisi Nash. All right, here we are. It's our big day, reveal day. Now, so much has happened inside the house, but you gotta wait to see it. Why? Because my family is here. Hey, Hi. hey, wow. Are you, are you hey. I'm ready. <laughs> you ready for me or you ready to see what happened inside the house? You. See, I had to check because I know you, you know, you kind of on the fresh side. Yeah, I know. All right, how was the hotel? Wonderful. It was Wonderful. great. He was yeah. busy putting up ads for his plumbing and find a girl, maybe. Maybe. Wow! Most of the ads. Why? Because you only got eyes for one girl? Might have that. 
Oh, well. <laughs> Listen, flirty McFlirter, to put your blindfolds yes, on. Yes, ma'am. All right, you two. I want you to each give me a word that described your living room before. Embarrassing. A wreck. I think now, gentlemen, you are a long way from embarrassing, and baby, it's nothing like a wreck. Take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Oh, my God. Right, you two. I want you to each give me a word that described your living room before. Embarrassing. A wreck. Take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Oh my God. Wow. 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 That's nice. That's nice. Oh, hey, hey. My chocolate angel. That is a compliment, right? May I kiss you? No. Awkward. You're a vanilla angel? You're my prince. Oh. No, 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 no kisses. You guys look stunned. I'm, I'm, honest honest with you. I'm, I'm gorgeous. I can't believe what they did in here. It's possible. I just think he's picturing chicks in here already. What are your thoughts about your focal point? <laughs> the fireplace. I actually see the fire. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it's got wood in it, too. Oh, nice. Now, I'm not actually Gary's focal point. The fireplace is. This room was really a trap for you. It was your previous marriage. But this is a new Gary and a new opportunity for you. I'm lost for words, but got to kind of hold the tears back. Yeah! This is what letting go looks like. Wow. We did, however, save the Christmas ornament. That was your son's. It's over there in that little box. The way that Mark incorporated everything in this room, including the ornaments in the box, that was great. That was really touched my heart. I know before you were saying that even if a lady came to visit you, she wouldn't stay because of the foolishness you had going on. You can probably get her to stick around now. Yeah. <laughs> One thing's for sure, the living room is not going to be what scares off the ladies. Remember that, Gary. <laughs> what about you, Jeffrey? You think your friends can hang out here? Definitely. I'm so glad my dad's stuff is out of here. Now I can have my friends over. Why are you all glassy-eyed over know. there? I love it. It's it's. It's a dream. It's a dream come true. It's amazing. Aww. Blindfolds on. Let me take you to your boudoir. Oh, my gosh. Don't get any fancy uh, ideas. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gary. Why don't you tell me how you felt in your bedroom before? Uh, not sexy. Not groovy. You are very sexy and very groovy now. Take off your blindfolds and take a look at your bedroom. Oh, my God. Look at the bed. Oh, wow. Wow. He jumped on that bed and looked right at her. I'm lost for words. So what are you doing later? <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> no, it's dinner. Dinner. Oh, dinner. Dinner. Oh. Thought you were lost for words. <laughs> yeah. He found you. I got my groove on now. Don't you? Oh, yes, ma'am. We did a good job getting his groove back. Maybe too good. Jeffrey, what do you think about your dad's bedroom? I love the paint. It's nice. It's really nice. Notice how Jeffrey looks a little jealous? You what? jealous? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Thank and, you. And, and you know, Gary, um, I knew you loved blue, especially that light, intense blue. So I wanted to give it to you, but I wanted to make it masculine. So I went with the gray, kind of light blue accent. It's beautiful. Well, and a big part of getting your groove back, Gary, is um, getting a woman over here that likes seeing a man's clothes hung up. And, and organized, too. Yes. Look at that. Oh, look at these. What's making the room really fantastic, too, is what's not in here. Right. Oh, yeah. I got rid of some stuff I was hanging inside, and, and, and this is my new life. This yes. is nice. The bedroom is beautiful, and I can get my groove on. You and Matt had a very long conversation about the wedding ring. You decided to give it up, and I gifted you this bed over here. Do you regret having done that? Not anymore. I, lo I love it. More yeah? Than, yes, yes. The bed's gorgeous. Gorgeous. You too. <laughs> Hopefully my dad finds a new girlfriend so I can stop worrying about him. Thank you. So can you my angel. My you're, angel. You're welcome. Oh, Lord. Can, <laughs> can you stand to see more? Yes. This is bringing Gary sexy back. Quit flirting and put your blindfolds on. All righty. All right, one of the reasons why I walked you to this end of your garage is because we couldn't walk in here before. Yes. Take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, bitchin'. Is that good? Wow. Look at that. Bitchin'. 
This is beautiful. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's the workout bench. Nice. Look at all the cabinets. My god. When we showed up, Gary said he had tunnel vision, but clearly the blinders have been taken off. I see a whole new spark in his life. Oh my god, look at this. How'd you do this? Wow. That's a that's bitching. That is nice. Gotta have a bitching. Mark's design is incredible. He utilized all the space in here. Thank you, man. Woo! With this clean slate, I think Gary is really going to be able to invite love in his life if he stops kissing on me. One of the things that we talked about was really transitioning you back into your plumbing business. These people over here really went the extra mile to make it happen for you, for the both of you, actually. It's nice. I love it. It's gorgeous. I never thought it would be. It's just nice. He's tearing up. All the cabinets. Wow. <laughs> Don't be making fun of me. I like it. I love when grown men tear up over garages. <laughs> My son's been teasing me. I'm a crybaby. But that's OK. This is the real deal. This is it. I'd love to take full credit, but I called my friends at Garage Envy because this was a massive undertaking. And they came up with an awesome setup so you could have all the functions that were in here in terms of getting your plumbing business going, basically giving you a space to have a garage that's functional. Everything nice. you need to do anything, Gary. Wow. Wow. Labeled, set up, ready to go. Everything you need. All your tools are down low, compressors, everything you need to get to. So now you are a professional business with a father and son. You'll have to change the logo. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. Hey, he's tearing up. This garage is really going to help my dad become a successful plumber again. You did bring Jeffrey into this room by putting manly purple on the wall. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hey, only two people live here, so I thought it would make sense that this room honors your love of manly purple. I love the purple of this garage. Way to go, Mark. We did make a little extra cash at the yard sale, so to commemorate the love of auto parts, I decided to hang a piece of art with license plates from all over the United States. That's nice. That's dope. What do you think is going to happen with your business now? I think it's going to take off. Yeah. Thank you very much, all of you. You're Thank welcome. You. It's You're gorgeous. welcome. Another one? Another one? Oh, Ooh. Wow. I think we better go. And you know what happens? We're going to leave you here to enjoy it. Thank you for the sweet kisses. See you soon. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Nisi, run for it. Keep you in here. Clean House is now giving me my groove bath, my sex appeal, and also Gary's plumbing. Look at that, Jeff. Thank you. Oh, hey. Well, the kisses don't stop coming, but our work here is finished. And we did exactly what we came to do and then some. For Gary and Jeffrey, baby, we cleaned house. When we showed up, Gary's life was going down the drain fast. But thanks to his son and a little help from my team, we were able to clear the cloth and help him get his groove back. A little bit too much, if you ask me. But I know what you're thinking. Oh, Miss Nisi, what about me? What about my group? Well, after I finish working on mine, I'll help you with yours. <laughs> Why? Because I love you. Thank you. OK. Well, give me that. Right. I'm not Nisi. This whole experience with Clean House has been amazing. It's been beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> oh, I'm home again. All right, I'm going to start calling some ladies. I think inviting ladies over here now, they're not going to want to leave. What fine day. Thank you, Clean House, you rock. You're going to miss me. Here's my niece right here.